We've made further improvements to ALIAS 2013 with a line and multi-surface draft. I'll use this wheel arch blend to demonstrate enhancements to the Align workflow. As in 2012, you can align opposite ends of a curve or surface without leaving a line. However, now I can continue to make adjustments to each align without leaving the tool and using Query Edit on each align. Now I simply click Activate on the other align and it is ready to modify. Once you have closed a line, a query edit of the surface or curve will offer the same functionality and flexibility. There are two additional changes to note on a line. When the alignment type is set to project, Alias will use the current coordinate system for X, Y and Z projections. If a construction plane is active, it will be used rather than the global axis. Also, blending options are now retained and can be stored with the tool on a shelf. In Alias 2013, multi-surface draft works similar to Alias 2012, but with some new features and improved functionality. I'll show the improvements on this opening in a rear fascia. With Chain Select checked, I'll create a simple draft surface in the X vector. Now I can quickly make changes to the length, angle and direction of the drafted surface through direct manipulation of these manipulators without the need to make further selections in the control window as before. Adjust the length by dragging the arrow. Adjust the draft angle and direction by dragging the arc. You can enter exact values in the control window. Add additional manipulators by shift clicking the input curve. Move them by dragging the dart at the base of the manipulator. Remove them by shift clicking the dart at the base. The draft vector manipulator is a new feature for adjusting draft vector options. The manipulator displays automatically in draft mode. By dragging the red, green or blue arc, or clicking an arc and entering a value in the prompt line, you can change the vector to, for example, a specific dipole vector. In this case, I'll tip the manipulator up 10 degrees in the X direction, and I'll also add 5 degrees draft. As with a line, it's important to note that the multi-surface draft uses the current coordinate system for X, Y and Z. If a construction plane is active, it will be used instead of the global axis and will likely give unexpected results. Intersurface continuity has been added in the control options section. As the name suggests, this feature displays the tangent continuity between draft surfaces. With this option selected, you can set a tangent angle maximum. Continuity will not be checked beyond this value as a break may be intentional. In the fascia example, I have green T's because the tangent angle is less than the tangent angle maximum and the construction option setting of 0 0.05. In this other example, I have intentionally broken tangency by 4.95 degrees. Because this exceeds the tangent angle maximum of 4, no report is given. If I change the maximum to 5, the tangency is measured. A red T displays because I am within the tangent angle maximum and greater than the construction setting. One additional change worth noting. Auto Recalc has been renamed Auto Update, as it has been in all other instances for Alias 2013. The highlight for a line is the ability to edit the align at opposite ends of a curve or surface without leaving the tool. And for multi-surface draft, being able to quickly edit length, angle and direction with the new manipulators. The new draft vector manipulator for interactively adjusting the direction of the draft vector and the addition of inter-surface continuity.